Heyo everyone and welcome to Kip TV. I am Kip and today I got a match for you. It's not well not an official match. It is a pickup game on Cothpro Viaduct. Really excited to uh, bring you this because I actually know a lot of people in here and uh, that makes me feel pretty cool. So we'll go over rosters real quick and then get to the action because I heard this was an amazing game. Really excited. So on blue, we have Mouse from BPM as Sniper. BPM, of course, is Baby Punching Marathon, a UGC Platinum Highlander team. Um, love the name. Also love the team. Cygnus, also from BPM, is on Pyro. Stabby Stabby of Internet YouTube and also streaming fame is Spy. He is from the Syndicate, also a UGC Platinum team. Awesome Spy. Gonna be on his cam a lot. Um, well, no more than anyone else's, but just saying. Hom Tanks from BPM as well is Soldier. I'm going to call him Tom Hanks. I know it, um, but that's what you get when you have a name like that. LBKT Squared is Engineer. Pyrrhic from D9 is Heavy. And uh, fun fact, I was actually doing homework earlier, and Pyrrhic was, uh, the word was in my reading, and I was like, well, I have no idea what that means, but I'm pretty sure I'm never going to have to know what it means. So I did even look it up. And then, of course, I cast this game, and Pyrrhic's there. So... For those of you who are curious, Pyrrhic means of, pertaining to, or resembling Pyrrhus, king of Epi Epirus, or his costly victory. So, uh, I'm pretty sure it has different meanings, though, because um, I don't think that pertains to uh, 19th century slavery. Anyway, Pyrrhic is is uh, heavy. Argo is scout. Ubiquitous is demo. And tracker is medic. We have a What's Your Deal on NG River Guide Tuffle Snug, which is an awesome name on Soldier. Sesquipimadalia is on Sniper. I call him Ses. I have casted him before. He was a he was the UGC uh, on the All Star team as Engineer. So haven't seen him play Sniper. We'll see how that goes. Cat Funt is is Pyro Max, who I literally played a uh, lobby with him like two days ago. Uh, is on demo. Poiso from Retro Gamer is on Scout. Uh, cast a couple of Retro Gamer games. Awesome. Awesome team. LBT, a kissing booth, is on Soldier. Miss K, who I mm, don't remember what team she was on, but I remember casting her, and I'm pretty sure she was a girl. So we're going to go with that. And then YC Punk is Medic. That uh, brings us to an end, and let's get going on the action. I apologize if the uh, game sound is a little low, but I am actually getting a sore throat, and I don't want to be able, don't want to have to yell over things, so you're going to have to deal with me as I try to heal. Anyway, we're watching Ubiquitous get out to mid, put out um, some damage, but actually if you look at Red's roster right now, none of them are taking a whole bunch of damage. Continuing to spam the point, and look at this really aggressive engineer. I love it. LBKT squared is just getting up in their face. Um, as engineer on King of the Hill, it is so uh, frustrating which your, your role. You just... Well, we can talk about that later. Ma meanwhile, Blue taking a lot of casualties right here, and even though Miss K is down for Red, well, actually, um, Poiso going down, and then the Spike going down as well. But here comes the crits from Blue Team, spraying all over, but, oh, Pyrrhic goes down to a nice headshot from Cess, so that's how you, uh, that's how you negate uh, a crits, headshot the heavy. Meanwhile, YC Punk has also popped his crits, but uh, they're going to be able to capture point despite their significant player disadvantage. Blue's going to come in and try to stop this, so, or at least the engineer is, and oh, Mouse gets uh, YC Punk down, so a uh, nice headshot right there already we're seeing. These snipers playing a huge, uh, huge part of playing a huge role in uh, Viaduct, which of course they are apt to do, because it's a very uh, friendly sniper map. I'm sure you can uh, get somebody who's more uh, familiar with sniping to uh, talk about that for you. I point you to Heavy's GPS. Anyway, we're watching Cygnus as he works with his, uh, oh, with his awesome hats. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. And, um, alright, who we need to get on? Let's see Cess, because he has already had a couple of headshots, I believe. So we'll see, um, gets a nice body shot in Cygnus, which goes down to 10 health right there. So we'll see, Cygnus is actually going to be able to get away and recover from that. Meanwhile, Red is looking to push in here. Ooh, Cess was not going to survive that. Um, here comes the the blue crits and Ubiquitous was getting some huge stickies right there. We're going on I was going on Ruffle or uh, River God Tuffle Snugs cam because I wanted to see if he could get a big pick on that medic before that uh, crits did damage, but he was not able to. And a lot of blue team or a lot of red team wiped out there, but you know what? They're on um, red and defense. Well, not attack well. They don't have possession of the point, so their spawn is significantly shorter. And that is one of the huge, huge uh, 
defining features of Viaduct, and it's definitely something you have to know in order to play this uh, this map competitively. No, so this is a pickup game, which means all these players are probably in competitive teams, um, ESCA or UGC. They're all, I think they're all Highlanders, so probably be UGC. I mean, well, definitely UGC. But um, so that means they are familiar with the intricacies of this timing things, and this is just a way for them to practice. Pug. NHL. I'll put that uh, link in the comments or the info section. It is a great way to practice and hone your skills if you're too good for lobbies. I unfortunately am not too good for lobbies yet, so you will not see me there. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get in the tracker cam. I'm gonna pop the squids relatively soon, I would say. There it is, popped on ubiquitous again, spamming down the sentry and cess and going down, getting a couple of big kills in there and. Five down for red. So again, that Chris was used a uh, great offensive push right there. We see blue is not being uh, passive at all, which is great. You cannot be passive on Viaduct. If you have the crits, um, you gotta hit it. Um, and um, destroying uh, your enemies, like, uh, um, ground right here is key. Like, as you can see, blue is already pushing up and red is on the defense really early. This heavy already is, uh, uh, being aggressive, even though he's our, um, done generally in his uh, side of the base. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, stabby stabby cam, ladies and gentlemen. All right, he goes down. All everybody but Ubiquitous was down for blue. They're just now getting those respawns. So red taking advantage of this as they should, capping the point. Uh, only 17 seconds left though for blue to hold the point, and uh, so red definitely has their work cut out for them. We will watch as YC Punk probably going to take in this Uber soon. Wonder if he's going to pop it on the heavy or there's no demo around, so probably Biz K will be getting this. But no, actually not pushing forward. So a significant difference, and oh, YC Punk going down to a body shot from oh from Mouse. That's big. Dropping that crits. Not going to be able to uh, continue their dominance over Blue. Uh, Blue is getting a lot of players right now. There's fast spawns. But uh, they really could have been devastated by a, a, a well-timed crits. But Medic went down, so there you go. We're going to watch Suscam because he is uh, getting some nice shots. I know Echo. Echo has uh, loved headshots. We'll see what uh, Sus can pull out now that uh, Rocket is going right towards him. Um, he did not even move. That was, uh, that was a little bit scary there, but uh, snipers have got to be ballsy. Sus getting a nice headshot there, and Cygnus managing to see through his unusual cloud effect. So time is ticking down for red. I want to get another. Yeah, there we go. Sus getting a body shot there on Ubiquitous, but uh, fully charged, doing some nice, uh, nice work. He did a couple damage there to his opposing sniper, Mouse. We'll see who's going to win this epic sniper battle. There's a lot of jumping going on. Uh, we'll see how that technique works, and Sus is actually going to run away. Um, meanwhile, River God, Tuffle Snug, is in behind the lines with his eternal reward. Oh, he spotted the medic. This could be good. He goes for the heavy. Great, great decision right there. Get Take down the damage class and uh, track. I mean, um, actually, the medic was taken down after that anyway. So, YC Punk taken down then to a headshot. So, um, excellent, excellent comeback here from Red. Absolutely. Um, I'm really surprised. They had, whoa, and then a nice body shot right there, Mouse. Oh man, these snipers! Oh, I do not envy anybody on these teams. These uh, really pro snipers here going big on Viaduct as they are apt to do. Uh, Mouse seeing if he can't get Miss K right here. She took a lot of damage, but she's here with a medic. But uh, here comes Hom Tanks cleaning up with those rocket shots. So a Mouse getting that um, Jurati in there and then some body shots to do damage and then that rocket. Um, definitely cleaned up. Red just devastated right now. Blue only has to hold the point for 11 more seconds. Um, could be easy, could be hard. Tracker is probably going to have this Uber or this crits up in time, but uh, well, only if somebody on red comes and stops this cap. And indeed, all of red is there. Oh, Tracker goes down. Huge, huge play right there. Here comes Miss K just mowing down everybody in the point. Red is going to be able to recap this unless uh, unless the sniper goes huge. Oh, Mouse does uh, get to that one kill, but can't go any bigger than that. Oh man, is Red going to win this? No, they. It's uh, it's going to be tough. Blue is, has the respawns. Red needs to get on the point right now. Sticking the point up is Max, but Max goes down to Argo. He was super hurt right there. So nice body shot. Here comes Blue now. Oh man, ton of damage coming down from Red. This is absolutely nuts. We're in double overtime. Holy moly. Um, Catfunt doing some nice work with a reflect, taking down Ubiquitous headshot or body shot right there. The mouse also gets Cess. What? 
all of blue, all of red is down. <laughs> One sniper mouse is there to get it. Oh, wow. That was incredibly epic. So I hope you guys are excited for the rest of this match because um, that... That was ridiculous and ridiculously awesome. <laughs> so good round indeed. Let's see what the second round has. We're watching Hom Tanks, who I loved in You've Got Mail. Did not like him in the terminal and uh, did not like the cast in Castaway either. So I'm just gonna go with uh, You've Got Mail is Hom Tanks' is, um, Magnus Opus. Anyway. Watching Stabby Stabby, who's trying to get behind lines right here. He's probably going to be spotted out, pulling out the dead ringer, though, because he's such a pro. Meanwhile, nobody has capped the point yet. Um, Stabby Stabby getting behind the lines. And, man, I feel so sorry for this medic. Oh, but no! YC Punk getting lucky because some nice, <laughs> nice spy checking there from Cat Funk. And so Red is going to push up onto the point, even though there's a lot of stickies right there. Um... I mean, that sticky pills coming in, damage coming in, Uber popped. Interesting choice right here by Red to run the Uber. Now they're just going to, uh, it was popped obviously in defense, so now they're going to push forward, try to put up some stickies, but yeah. YC Punk's like, okay, Demo, you're on your own. Max, you can have fun, but uh, actually Mac Max goes down there to Stabby Stabby, so probably not a lot of fun with Hat. So uh, again, we're seeing the difference well, different strategies. Um, often you can cap the point and continue to push forward into the enemy enemy area, or you can just cap the point and fall back. So it's interesting to see these different strategies from the teams. And of course, there's a lot of players from opposing teams. You know, te uh, the Syndicate will play Baby Punching Marathon. So I wonder how much um, strategy is being shared here, and if you're a little hesitant to share those really good strats that you come up with. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I want to take a look at scores real quick. Oh my goodness, very, very interesting. Love uh, looking at scores, not as, you know, complete indicators of who's doing the best or whatever, but just how these games are being played. Uh, as we see, Sniper and Spy are at the top. The Assassin class is going big, and um, interestingly, Stabby is at the bottom. That means he's been um, getting unlucky. Uh, that means that the opposing s s uh, Pyro has been doing a heck of a lot of spy checking, so that's going to be really hard. Of course, if I was going against uh, Stabby Stabby, I would just stick with my medic and uh, just constantly spray him or her with with fire. That's absolutely all I do, and just be so terrified. So, uh, <laughs> so maybe Stabby Stabby's reputation precedes him, and he's not able to uh, get what he wants, or maybe he's uh, this is some like elaborate plan. I don't know. He's Stabby Stabby. I don't question these things. Anyway, Tracker has got this crit. Red just capped the point, so you know they're all around there. This would be a perfect time to pop it, but he has nobody to pop it on. So, very unfortunate right there. Ubiquitous is coming to the front line. He's going to hook up with his med right there. I'm seeing, I'm sensing a crit very, very soon. Very presently, if you will. Um, Ubiquitous, don't make me look stupid. There's the crits. Yes, getting uh, some damage on the heavy right there. Not able to take her down. Where did uh, where did his medic go? Um, actually, not going to be able to monopoly or capitalize with that crits. Oh, tracker going down. Max coming in with a big pill, taking two down. And again, Sass getting a nice headshot that I missed. Interesting though. Um, Mouse is leading. Let's get on. We gotta get on these sniper camps. Man, these snipers. Man, oh man. Of course, here on the sniper deck is, you know, where you sometimes hang out, but uh, look at this little overhang that um, Sess is doing. Uh, very interest, uh, a very cool uh, location to snipe if you can get away with it and not fall over and uh, look like an idiot. So uh, choose that position wisely. We're going to see Red push up a little, trying to control this little hallway area that is unique to uh, RC. Pro Viaduct RC3 or something like that. Uh, so it is. It does add a level of complexity to the to the game. Very interesting. Love uh, love playing the normal one though. Actually, <laughs> after playing the RC1 um, so many times, I'm gonna watch. Oh, uh, thought Catfont might go in after he got that nice reflect kill on Ubiquitous. Try to go after Magic, but not able to do so. I'm gonna watch some mouse cam for a second. Well, I take a drink of water. I guess I could pause the game, but uh, I kind of want to keep this action going because it's so intense. You know these players are s are serious about this. Oh, I was going to say if Mouse could get a headshot right there, but um, this was denied. Here comes the Uber going in. We'll see it on the sniper cam. Uber w was successful in pushing Blue off the point. Red will now have a... 
a really good chance of capping this down to two seconds, but will anybody be able to get on there? Indeed, we do have summon. Oh, the spy ran off. Not able to get it. Uh, so there we go. That is the second round. We are tied one to one. Who should we watch roll out? Um, we've seen the blue roll out a couple times. So let's go to LBT, a kissing booth. Let's see what we got here on scores. All oh, very interesting. I'm so proud of these NGs who are finding ways to get points on King of the Hill. We'll watch some of their cams later because I've always had such problems getting points uh, as an NG because I'm just, you know, mostly just running around setting up sentry guns that immediately get uh, sapped or um, blasted down. Anyway, LBT going for a jump right there, trying to get something. He did get the sentry gun. See? The sentry gun getting rocketed down. Um, such is the life as an NG. So anyway, we, we, let's just let's go to an NG cam real quick. I actually want to see this. Nice. <laughs> Sickness getting that spy river god Tuffle Snug. Love that name. Definitely want to know what uh, what what's behind there. Are we gonna see the crits on? No. Okay. <laughs> I thought for a second the scout was crits, but no. The Uber was popped. YC Punk popped it on the heavy right there to retain possession of mid. Oh, here comes blue. You know that means they have a crits. Being very aggressive, ubiquitous with the stickies. Can he get the heavy? He already got the medic, so very nice right there. But oh, tracker goes down. LBT, a kissing booth, getting a great rocket right there. Taking down the med right as the crits was wearing off. But uh, regardless, blue is going to be able to push forward and cap it. And time is ticking away. And that's actually, actually the first time they capped it this round. So, they have three minutes. Actually, this round just started. Seems like it's longer. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, let's uh get that. Jeez, just, just, just wow. Um, getting a sh uh, fully charged shot right there on Pyrrhic. Pyrrhic, of course, had so much health. He was overhealed at that point. Let's see. Oh, poor Angie doesn't have a chance. Oh well. Oh, oh. I'm so scared for everybody on blue right now, and of course red, because let's go to Mouse. He is just now respawning and getting up there. We'll see, um, he's taking a very different position, uh, going on the low ground and then peeking up. We'll see if he can't get anything there. Red is piling on the point, so there goes the Jurati. Oh, and there goes Cess. So, nice uh, counter sniping right there, but he is so screwed. <laughs> so screwed. Cat Funk takes him down with man's um, formidable opponent fire. Also a formidable opponent, Taco Bell. And... Lack of sleep. Yes. Man's formidable opponents. <laughs> Fire and Taco Bell. Anyway, here comes Blue the Heavy. Purik trying to uh, take it on his own with just the help of these lighter classes. Not able to do it because the Uber has popped. Excellent deployment right there to stop the cap. Um, but Red is a little scattered right now. And they're also missing a couple of these heavier classes. Now they are trying to set up. Let's watch... The Angie Cam, let's get on. What's your deal? Seeing what is his deal? <coughs> or Cat Funk as he tries to do something? What's your deal? What's your deal is a good fella. Okay, there we go. He set up his sentry gun. One of my favorite spots on King of or, um, King of the Hill Viaduct. I don't think there's any other type of viaduct. But look at all the damage he's doing. He got an assist and then a kill right there on Argo. So perfect positioning. I love that positioning. And um, <laughs> you can see in chat what's your deal is saying. Go, Mini, go. Love those mini sentries. Love them. Do my bidding. Yes, part of playing NG is feeling like God. Oh no, it is sap, so there he goes. So Red is winning this point, and this time is ticking down. What is different? Oh, River God taking down Tracker, so that's going to be huge. Miss K actually going down there too, so Red's not going to have their heavy. Blue may take advantage of this and push in, but they're not in position to do so. Oh, and Pyrrhic goes down to Max's. Um, Sticky's right there. Oh no, and now LBT a kissing booth is Ubered, takes down his opposing soldier, so a nice play right there. The significant difference in this round has been that Uber. Uh, and this is the first time that they've played it, so I'm wondering, um, well, at this point, it's too late for Tracker to go Uber, because he will not be able to get it up in time. That's what she said, but, uh, <laughs> that was so bad. Anyway, um, but it has played a significant difference in uh, terms of Red being able to push forward and take a lot of space away from Blue. And, of course, controlling space in any map is important, especially, especially King of the Hill. 
so we'll see. The tracker is just now getting that crits, pops it immediately on Ubiquitous, who gets done some stickies. Stabby Stabby is also getting in there behind the lines. Red taking a lot of, lot of casualties. So there we go. Blue is going to be able to stop that cap in overtime right now. Echo loves overtime. Hopefully you can hear him, and I'm not just like randomly talking about Echo. Um, but uh, yeah. Anyway want to look at scores real quick because Ubiquitous has been getting a lot of those crits and been doing a great job at getting those uh, detonations off. Of course, oh, Stabby Stabby coming in with the kill. Let's get on his cam. Stabby Stabby cam. Of course, Stabby Stabby, if you're not familiar, has a great YouTube channel all about uh, Spy. He does pubs and lobbies and stuff, and it's just really fun to um, to watch him play. I actually played with him once on a lobby. I killed him, but then I, re I was really excited that I killed him, but uh, then I realized he was dead ringing. So uh, that's my story of Stabby Stabby. <laughs> uh, we're going to see he spotted out the heavy medic combination. R will he be able to get in behind them? A tracker has that 100% crits. Could do a lot of damage to Stabby's team right now. Oh man, oh this heavy is so dead. Miss K, turn around, turn around. Stabby! Stabby's behind you. And there we go. So losing that heavy is going to be significant um, in Red's push right there. Stabby Stabby finally does go down. His, his reign of terror on Miss K will end. But uh, Red's got to pull something together. Only 40 seconds left. Blue's done a great job of holding this point. Coming back and uh, holding it into overtime. Really, really nice job. And they just don't have the numbers right now. Oh man, this is... Uh, I'm going to watch the Cygnus cam because he, of course, will be able to air blast anyone off the point to help hold it. Uh, Pyro's on King of the Hill. So, so good with these... Uh, when the rounds come down to like the last seconds. Right now he is just going to push forward and try to stop people before they come there, but oh, taken down by Catfunk, his opposing uh, pyro right there. So not going to be able to get on the point. Will anybody be able to get on the point for red? Some sticky's coming down. Oh my goodness. Um, oh. I thought uh, I thought the red cypher Cess was going to go huge right there, but uh, unfortunately no. But he tried, and that's the point. Let's see, who we're gonna watch roll out? Um, we'll watch a scouts roll out. Argo right here. He's looking for a team. Well, he was of, as of this um, pug, which was last Thursday, I believe. Um, oh, taking, taking some damage, running back. Staying alive, though. I'm just wondering, oh, taking more damage. Poor scouts. Oh, get off of his camera, because that doesn't look pleasant at all. Um, LBK T squared. Where is he in points? He's right in the middle. This is why, because he has been so aggressive. We've seen that consistently out of him. Um, what, what happened there? I, I'm, I'm confused. Anyway, um, Argo is trying to get in behind the lines, uh, get trying to get YC Punk to pop the crits prematurely or something of that nature, and not able to do so because he has no health. Red, however, oh. Oh, blue taking possession of the point. The crits was popped, but uh, Pyrrhic just goes down an explosion of of giblets and also ubiquitous the uh oh <laughs> the one who usually gets the the crits was not there so red could be in a position right now to take this but uh it's not a great position they do have that player advantage and the spawn advantage we'll see if they can get on the point right now cess is kind of flirting with the point on and off, you know. River God trying to get on the medic, not able to do so. Sus taking out Hom Tanks right there with a nice headshot on the soldier. And so here comes Red. They are indeed going to commit and try to ca uh, cap it right now. There are a ton of damage coming down. Oh, Tracker is so hurt right now. See if anybody follows up on that kill. Doesn't look like it, and Tracker will be able to survive and keep a hold of his crits charge. Meanwhile, Red still hasn't pushed forward and uh, capped yet. There we, there we go finally going to do it. We saw What's Your Deal using putting his mini sentry in that other spot again. Um, go sentry, go. Story of my life. Uh, LBG trying to get in there and take the medic down. Is he going to... Oh, I thought he was going to go for... Uh, I don't know. Oh, but uh, crits was coming off. There we go. Popped on Max. Ooh, taken down Pyrrhic, but Ubiquitous had his crits of his own. Oh, man. Crits demo versus crits demo is not something I would ever want to be a part of. That just sounds terrible. Just everybody's gonna end up exploded right there. Oh, Ubiquitous going down after that push. They tried to cap the point. Don't have enough manpower right now, or woman power, if you will. And I will sometimes. So Red is going to be able to hold on. They got about two minutes and 15 seconds left. Uh, see what Cess tries to do here. And 
Does he get a shot in LB? Yes, uh, Blue Engie, very hurt right there, and then just finish off. That hard hat apparently can't stop bullets. Which they should make a hard hat that can do that. Yeah. That, that makes sense. There's a lot of need for that, right? Anyway, River God is in behind them. He really wants this soldier, you can tell. See if he can get it, but oh man, the pyro is so uh, onto him. Meanwhile, Ubiquitous getting a... Uh, I assume that was another crits, and yes, indeed it was. So uh, as his team uh, pushes forward, they don't know, though, that River God is being behind him, and River God gets two uh, kills right there, but not enough to stop the capture of the point. So again, Ubiquit was getting those crit stickies down and detonating them in time to make it super, super lethal and uh, super frustrating for Red to organize and put up a defense against that. I'm watching Hom tanks right there, bombing in, taking out Max, and now he's gonna bomb, uh, jump onto the cliff, see if he can't finish off the heavy. But actually, Miss K does. Miss K, oh, Stabby Stabby takes care of Miss K right there, um, so not able to do much with that. We'll see what else. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. We're gonna stay on what's your deal? Oh no, he's just setting up at spawn. Interesting. I thought he would maybe bring that level 3 up and wrangle it. Uh, of course, the wrangler is so good. I haven't seen either NG use it, and I wonder um, maybe if they're calling it banned for this game. Of course, wrangler is super controversial and competitive TF2. Um, some people think it's overpowered. I think it's just powered enough. And I love it. It's very dangerous on, uh, on Viaduct, so maybe that's why they um, decided not to have it, because an engineer could easily, easily dominate um, with a Wrangler on Viaduct, just with minis, even. Uh, ooh! So Red is able to push back forward. Says taking down Mouse, who was actually in there. They didn't know he was there. Hum Tank's going in for the kill, but not able to do so. Finished off. And we'll see if Blue can come back. They only have 40 seconds on the... 40 seconds left. Uh, remember, it is 2 to 1, Blue. Oh, here comes the crits. Oh my goodness, what an excellent job right there by Blue Pyro just completely shutting down that crits and uh, doing a great job as uh, with that air blast at Cygnus, of course. Sorry, I was a little distracted. My doorbell was going off, and my doorbell is the most annoying doorbell in the world. Hopefully you heard it, and you can second in the opinion that is the most thing annoying thing in the world. Stabby Stabby is on the point right now. Ooh, here we go. The level 3 was coming up, but Stabby Stabby had to interfere, and it goes down. Oh, sad. Could have been really big. Could have been really interesting right there. But uh, spies ruin everything, right? Ain't it the truth. Ubiquitous, meanwhile, coming back with those crits. Uh, does take down Cess, so as Blue defends the point, they will not have to worry about a sniper, at least for another second. They will have to worry about um, this bombing soldier, though, coming in, doing some nice little strafing right there, but he gets uh, taken down. And uh, go back on the stabby cam. As his team has the point, he just needs to play this defensive uh, spy roll, and he really wants, really wants, oh god, not able not able to get max right there. And But still, his team comes out on top, so it is 3 to 1. In favor of blue. Looks like. Oh, and the halftime will be taken after four, of course. Playing uh, probably UGC rules, I would think. Uh, we'll watch LBT at Kissing Booth. See what he decides to do. I'm putting down some spam on the point and making those uh, scouts. What well, one scout? Scatter. Scatter scout, if you will. Scatter Scout with a scatter gun. Uh, Poison, meanwhile, still alive though. Gotta watch out for that sentry gun, but he gets some help from. Nope, Max takes down the blue sentry gun. Oh, wait, yes, he gets some help from Max. Anyway. Anyway, blue is on the point. Poison is going to have to fall back as he um, plays the flank and scout roll. Ooh, he's got the bonk. Let's see what he does with this. Um, actually, he did not deploy it and gets taken down by his opposing scout right there. So Argo with a nice uh, flank opportunity saw it, took advantage. And, uh, owned it, I guess. Max, ooh, got the uber here right now. Could have been really devastating if they used the crits right now, but coulda, woulda, shoulda. And so they will be able to push in. Let's see how far Max goes. He has lost his medic. Oh, he found a heavy eating a sandwich. Oh, oh, that's uh, not what you want to see when you're eating the sandwich. Oh, who's going to finish this? <laughs> oh, both Max and Cygnus go down right there, and Max puts a little smiley face. And Cygnus uh, is laughing. Uh, that's great. These these it looks like these guys are just having a lot of fun. Um, kind of jealous. I wasn't invited, but I can see 
uh, why I wasn't. They probably wanted to win and uh, actually get good practice in <laughs> instead of my tom my uh, tomfoolery was what I was going for. That's how I play tomfoolery. Ubiquitous. Meanwhile, getting some flanks. Uh, look how far Blue is pushing up right now. Does he see the spies? Um, yes, but is uh, River God Huffle Snug going to be able to do anything? He's still alive, so I'm surprised about that. Gonna have to lock Echo out here in a second. But meanwhile, here comes the crits on who else but Ubiquitous getting a really interesting decision right there to go for the sniper first and then getting two stickies down on the heavy. Um, I'd love to hear that reasoning. I'm pretty sure it's because that sniper could easily take him down with one hit. Meanwhile, overhealed um, demo would not be taken down that easily by a distracted heavy. So he uh, quickly analyzed the situation and realized he uh, needed the soldier first and then heavy. That's absolutely amazing that you can do all that thought process in, you know, 30 seconds. I mean, 30 seconds. It took me 30 seconds to explain it. It probably took him 3 seconds, 0.3 seconds to, to understand it. So, uh, love, love watching these guys play. Miss K watching these girls play, getting that uber, taking um, Argo down right there too, cleaning up. She is going to push forward? No. Red has not been as eager to push forward and take a lot of space away from Blue. Don't worry, Miss K, no one saw that. So I wonder if that is going to hurt them right now. They are losing three to one rounds. Uh, of course, we are playing two, five. Um, coming, crits coming in right there, but Max having some stickies of his own. So Ubiquitous just being shut down very fast. Um, Ubiquitous acknowledges, nice trap. So great, uh, wasn't sure where that was, but uh, Max thinks so too, even though he's now dead. So. Looking at, uh, maybe they're, no, they're not doing a time limit, because this is not Europe. <laughs> if you know the rules of uh, ESCA, or not ESCA. Whoa, did Savvy have an extra hand right there? I think he did. Of course, probably a glitch. He's no cheater. There you go, getting a nice kill right there on Catfunk, being uh, exploded and blown around, trying to get that headshot on Miss K, but not able to do so. Red is going to be able to push in? I don't know. Um, Papiric just taken down right there, and Poizo also down, sad. But uh, Miss K is back up. No, Miss K is still alive. She had no health, though. No health at all. Blue only has 18 seconds left, but here comes Red with reinforcements. YC Punk um, there to heal and being very careful about uh, his head, but Mouse going down. River God getting that backstab, so nice shot, or nice pick right there. <laughs> you got served, Mouse, <laughs> says. Oh, man. Oh, it was a face stab, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> oh, those tricky, tricky spy stabs. Uh, meanwhile, Tracker has 100%. Not sure if he's on crits or uber right now. Want to find out, but I want, don't want to miss the action. So we're going to stick here. I'm sure they're going to be pushing in very, very soon. They don't have too much time to waste. Well, they do have a minute. Um, here comes, yes, popped on Ubiquitous, it's the crits again, can Ubiquitous get to the medic? No! Oh, Ubiquitous goes down right there, body shot from Sess, great work, and Tracker gets away with- No! Tracker does not get away, Catfunt was there to, to finish him off. So, a nice follow-up kill right there, both medics- Oh, Tracker down, but meanwhile, YC Punk. Wait, yeah, so YC Punk. I mean, Tracker going down after that crit, trying to get away, not able to. There we go. YC Punk is rocking the Uber, I believe, still. We'll see if they can't get on the point. They have to. Sess is running up. Will he get there in time? Indeed, they do. The Uber's on the point. They can't be Ubered, though. They have to get non-Ubers on the point. Um, oh, that Scott has got to stay in there. The Uber fades, or uh, YC Punk takes it off. So, nice work right there. In overtime. There we go. One minute left. Red has to hold this point. Wow. Very, very close right there. Um, some good teamwork and good communication. Um, because they were running that Uber on the point, they had to have a non Uber person on there, so they had to make sure uh, the heavy medic team needed to have, had to make sure that the scout stayed on the point and didn't uh, follow up on a kill or anything like that. Meanwhile, here comes our ballsy engineer, LBKT squared, taking a lot of damage, but he's capping the point back for his team. Can Red get in there? Indeed, they actually are able to. Oh man, Catfunt um, getting a. 
uh, kill rate, uh, ah, just doing a great deal of, of work, and the mini sentry going big as well. Blue not able to cap it, only three people up right now. Another great defense. Stabby Stabby, though, is on the hunt. Stabby Stabby goes down. So his hunting days are over. Seven seconds left. We're going to go into overtime because that blue portion is not yet reverted. Here comes Blue trying to get it all the way to uh, for them. Tom Hank, I mean, Hum Tank's coming in behind Miss K. Oh no, but there is a. There is River God Tufflesnug getting the backstab on him. R Red has to. Oh, stay on this point. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Here comes. Oh, Ubiquitous trying to get a, a jump and they're not able to. Meanwhile, Stabby Stabby on the point again, but he is down. Red is going to be able to hold this indeed. What a crazy hold. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> um, coming back from overtime to get that was very nice. Very nicely done, everyone. Um, great communication. <laughs> Cygnus changed his name to Banny. I can only assume that uh, means Cygnus is friends with Banny in real life. And uh, Banny just came over to his house and he's like, hey, I want to play this bug. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> he's just a, an homage, if you will. Anyway, Ubiquitous is going down right there. Pyrrhic going down as well. So those heavy classes aren't up for blue. Red probably should be taking advantage of this. And indeed, they are pushing from the left side with their heavy classes. And we'll see if they decide to push up. Remember, they have not been as eager. Ooh, Cess going down. But uh, Stabby Stabby gets called out. So they have not been as eager to push forward as uh, the blue team after they capture the point. And again, we're not seeing that. Oh, but here comes Ubiquitous with what? Crits. So nice right there. Um, <laughs> Banny uh, killed Poiso apparently. Yeah, the name change. So we'll see uh, if blue can come back, uh, monopolize, capitalize. Sometimes I confuse monopoly and capitalism. Anyway, well, it's easy to say. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I have an interesting tidbit about that. Capitalism and monopoly. Anyway, Pyrrhic, only two health on the point. Totally going down right there. Poiso getting that kill. But Poiso going down to backstab. Stabby Stabby on the hunt. On the prowl. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stabby Stabby. And as you see, he has come back. Um, points about in the middle right there. So um, you can see he's picked up his pace. Like a hunter, he smelled blood and was on it. Okay, we're gonna watch the ballsy engineer as he tries to distract. Um, he actually did maybe a pretty good job right there, distracting Max, and then Stabby Stabby was able to get in there from behind. We'll assume that was their strategy at least. I don't know how much strat is going on in comms right here. I uh, recently played a Sixes pickup game. It was my first pickup game, or first Sixes. It was incredibly terrifying, um, but not a whole lot of strategy was going on, mostly because I had never played Snake Water before, and they're like, do the drop down, and I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> so, m I'm guessing all these guys are super, super pro, well, I know these guys are super pro, so I'm guessing they had pretty sophisticated comms going into this, and some strategy. Uh, I'd be interested to see if anybody has their POV from this, though. So. Red has the point right now. Time is ticking. Got about two minutes left. We're gonna stick on the stabby stabby cam. Or stabby squared. Oh, he spotted a heavy eating a sandwich. And he's about to ruin his day. Just bringing out the revolver. Just no tricks. No fancy stuff. Just shoot him in the chest. Uh, shoot her in the chest. And Miss K does go down. Um, stabby gets the assist on that one. Oh, I see someone has 100% crits. Quick, we gotta get on the ubiquitous cam, and here he goes, is coming in there, taking out uh, LBT a kissing booth, getting what's your deal, getting Psy, uh, YC Punk, the medic right there, that's what they wanted, that's what's gonna be huge, and Tracker is gonna get away, so super, super effective. It'd be interesting to see if uh, what's your deal tries his um, level 3 sentry uh, trick again, not going for it <laughs> right now. Poiso just says minis are OP. That's the thing. If an engineer does well in a game, then it's always like his his uh his or her weapons are OP. It's never that the engineer is good and just can use those weapons to like the best of the team advantage or whatever. It's always that they're overpowered. I mean, like if a soldier does really well, no one's like oh, rocket launcher is OP. That was uh, all right. Close. Ng rant. <laughs> Oh, Mouse not getting that headshot. Um, of course, 
Miss K right there, super overhealed, trying to go for some uh, body shots right there, not able to finish anyone off. Now he is overhealed though, um, so that'll be good if he gets to sh take a shot from his opposing sniper. Oh, oh, I so want him to get that medic. Oh, but not able to. Um, goes down a headshot from Sess, and I'm not playing favorites, I just love headshots. Just love watching headshots. And uh, Tracker, again with crits, where is Ubiquitous? I hear him calling. Uh, that means we're gonna see some crits going on pretty soon. We get on Ubiquitous Cam, and the pop is happening right now. Ubiquitous charging up that gun, getting YC Punk. He spotted the overhealed, uh, the overhealed uh, little heavy and demo, so he knew exactly where that medic was going for the medic instead of the heavy classes, and super effective again. So, dem crits. If I was a red team, I'd be uh, super, super frustrated with that, and uh, I do not blame them for uh, going Uber last round. We'll see. I'm not sure. Are they on Uber again? Of course, YC Punk just went down, and yes, actually, YC Punk is on regular Medigun, so they will have that Uber to combat the crits. Of course, you have to stay alive, though, because it takes so much longer to charge up. <laughs> we'll see if they can do it. They uh, managed to take control over the point again. Wait, no, they didn't. What am I saying? Blue has great control of the point. They need to get this point. Um, Cat Fund going after the medic as the rest of his team pushes in. Great strategy right there. Probably good comms again going on. He's like, guys, I got the medic. Can you get the point? And they're like, yeah, bro. We got your back. Um, <laughs> bro. Bra. Yeah, bra. Totally bra. So we will see as Red tries to defend for one minute. As we saw last round, Red had an amazing defense. Just, um came down to the last second. These past or two or three rounds have been double overtime, I think. Just absolutely ridiculous. So really fun. Oh, oh, that heavy is so headshotted. Um, but uh, does not go down. Oh, there, Pierre goes down. Sass gets it. Nice. So we'll see if can't get anything else. I see another sniper. sniper dot. Oh, <laughs> best pug 2012, says Poiso. That's awesome to hear. I love when uh, pugs you know, really do um, simulate uh, an actual competitive game, because then it, it really gets players interested. And of course, you don't have to be a competitive player to go. Ooh, n <laughs> nice. You don't have to be a competitive player to pug. Anyway, we'll see if Red can get in here. Uh, they uh, need to defend the point. There's just everybody on the point. Blue gets it, but oh, Red is not able to stand on there long enough. So there we go. They are calling GG. That is the end of the demo. Wow, absolutely, absolutely crazy. Congratulations to Blue. I think Dem Crits made the difference there. Thanks so much to Ubiquitous who sent it in. Um, and now I see why. <laughs> I wonder why. Um, so awesome game. I'm glad you guys look like you had a lot of fun. Again, if you have any demos or anything to send me, I love doing pugs, as you can see. Uh, definitely hit me up at falafel1066 at yahoo.com. Or you can follow me on Twitter at kiptf2. And I'm actually now streaming, and that uh, is, is twitch.tv slash falafel1066. So, tons of way to uh, stalk me, if you will. <laughs> um, but that's about it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.